In a passionate push for change, Texas Haft, the state's prominent teachers union, has introduced a new proposal they're calling the Educators' Bill of Rights. This initiative comes in the wake of ongoing debates surrounding school choice and funding, and it's generating significant buzz across the Lone Star State. The catalyst for this movement can be traced back to recent issues faced by schools in North Texas, such as Greenwood Hills Elementary in the Richardson ISD, which, like many other campuses, did not open this year. Zef Capo, the president of Texas Haft, has been vocal about the impact of Governor Greg Abbott's policies on public education. During a virtual news conference, Capo criticized Abbott's handling of education funding and school choice, referring to the situation as Abbott's elementary and blaming the governor for the closure of schools due to inadequate funding. Capo's remarks highlight a broader issue. Last year, a proposed school choice program was defeated. This program aimed to allow taxpayer funds to be used for private school tuition, a move that was blocked by a coalition of House Republicans and Democrats. Consequently, $4 billion in additional public school funding was left unspent. According to Capo, this funding might have prevented the closure of schools like Greenwood Hills. The Educators' Bill of Rights proposed by Texas AFT outlines 10 crucial elements intended to support teachers and ensure their well-being. Key points include advocating for fair wages and ensuring a safe and healthy working environment. This proposal gained additional attention when Kendra Rogers, an assistant principal from Corsicana ISD, shared her harrowing experience of being attacked by a student due to inadequate state funding. Rogers, who was airlifted to a Dallas hospital after sustaining severe injuries, attributed part of the problem to insufficient support from the state government and directly criticized Governor Abbott's role in the crisis. The debate has sparked reactions from various political figures. Democrat Mihala Plaza supports the Educators' Bill of Rights and is advocating for a significant pay raise for teachers, asserting that public schools are in dire need of reform. Conversely, Republican State Representative Matt Shaheen, who also supports teacher raises, believes that such decisions should be left to local school districts. Shaheen suggested that funding discussions would continue in the next legislative session. Governor Abbott's office, when contacted, highlighted his administration's contributions to education, including substantial increases in funding and a significant teacher pay raise. Abbott's press secretary, Andrew Mahaleris, emphasized that the governor is committed to expanding school choice and ensuring that Texans' voices are heard. Looking ahead, Shaheen is optimistic that school choice legislation will pass next year, citing it as a priority for voters. Meanwhile, Texas Haft and its allies are gearing up for a fight to prevent such legislation, aiming to influence the upcoming elections to secure better outcomes for public education. This ongoing debate reflects a critical juncture for Texas education policy, with the proposed Bill of Rights standing as a pivotal element in the fight for improved support and funding for educators and students alike. Stay subscribed for more videos.